in this lecture i am going to present what is sway portal frame and how to analyze the sway portal frame by moment distribution method then i would like to solve one problem on sway portal frame by moment distribution method first coming to what is sway portal frame a rigid orthogonal frame if it is not restrained laterally will move sideways under loading the horizontal translation of the joints in the frame is called sway the sway in the portal frame takes place if there is no symmetry in geometry loading and if there is no support at the beam level then there will be the lateral movement of the column takes place which is called the sway so look at this figure so here the sway takes place due to the lateral loading the load is present at the joint b so due to this lateral loading so the sway of the frame takes place so this is before loading and this step is after loading so this is the default shape of the frame so this is the sway amount delta the translation of the joints is common due to the forces acting in the lateral direction and that is equal to delta in this figure here the sway takes place due to the unsymmetrical loading so here the load is present unsymmetrically so due to this unsymmetrical loading the sway of the frame takes place so this is the frame before loading and this is the frame after loading so this is the sway amount at both joints in this figure so the sway takes place due to the unequal column height so here this is the frame here the column heights are different so due to this different column height the sway of the frame takes place so this is before loading and this is after loading in this figure the sway of the frame takes place due to the unequal column stiffness so here this is the frame the moment of inertia of this column is 2i and the moment of inertia of this column is i and the moment of inertia of this beam is 4i so due to this different stiffness so here the sway of the frame takes place then coming to what is the analysis of frame with sway the application of the moment distribution method to the analysis of statically indeterminate frames in which side sways of joint moments are involved comprises the following steps at the first step the joints are prevented from moving laterally under this condition the fixed and moments arising out of applied loading are distributed thus the first set of balanced and moments is obtained and in the next step the frame without any load is allowed to sway laterally by certain magnitude this lateral movement will cause a certain magnitude of fixed and moments these fixed and moments are then distributed as a consequence a second set of balanced and moments is obtained then the final and moments due to both loading and side sway can be computed by summing of the first set of balanced moments and the second set of balanced moments by multiplying with the sway correction factor frames in which the lateral translation of joints is restrained can be analyzed in the same way by moment distribution method as for continuous beam here the only difference is that in contrast to two members in beams frames have 
मोर मेंबर्स मीटिंग एट ए जॉइंट देर फॉर वी हैव टू इंक्लूड द स्टिफनेस ऑफ ऑल द मेंबर्स मीटिंग एट एनी जॉइंट एंड देन इवेलुएट द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फैक्टर्स सिमिलरली द अनबैलेंस्ड मोमेंट एट एनी जॉइंट इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड टू द एंडस ऑफ द सेवरल मेंबर्स मीटिंग एट द जॉइंट इन एकॉर्डेंस विद द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फैक्टर in frames undergoing lateral translation the analysis is carried out in two stages the frame is prevented from undergoing any lateral translation or non sway analysis by applying an artificial joint restraint as shown in figure 5 so look at this figure this is frame with sway condition the second figure the sway prevented by external support in third figure the same sway force is applied and due to that sway force so what is the moment that will be carried out the value of artificial restraining force sc is obtained by first evaluating the shear at the base of the column then from the equilibrium condition the sum of the original force is equal to zero the value of s can be calculated then to achieve the true condition of the structure the frame has to be analyzed again by applying a force equal and opposite to the artificial restraining force s then the true moment of the member can be determined by taking the moment with restraining condition plus the moment without restraining condition so for the given sway force it is difficult to find out the and moments hence the following procedure is followed i assume arbitrary sway delta m on then the fixed and moments developed in column a b and c d are calculated that is m dash f a b is equal to m dash f b a is equal to minus 6 c i 1 delta by l 1 square and m dash f c d is equal to m dash f d c is equal to minus 6 c i 2 delta by l 2 square so this is the moment fixed and moment due to the translation of joints m dash f a b m dash f b a m dash f d c and m dash f c d so this is the fixed and moment due to arbitrary sway s dash so due to this sway for s dash so this is the uh, delta amount the translation of joints this is the sway delta amount and due to this one so this is the fixed and moments which is induced at the end of the column m dash f a b and m dash f b a m dash f d c and m dash f c d so here take the ratio of m dash f a b by m dash f c d is equal to minus 6 e i 1 delta by l 1 square by minus 6 e i 2 delta by l 2 square this is equal to i 1 by l 1 square divided by i2 by l2 square now arbitrary but proportionate values may be assumed from m dash f b and m dash f c d then moment distribution is carried out to get the final moment let m a b m b a m c d m d c be the final moments this is m a b m b a m c d and m d c this is the final moment so by taking this final moment here you have to find out what is the horizontal base shear at support a and horizontal base shear at support b so ha is equal to mab plus mba divided by the length of the column ab and hd is equal to mcd plus mdc divided by the column l2 then the sway force s dash acting in this case is obtained by considering horizontal equilibrium of the frame so here h a plus s d plus s d is equal to 0 then from this relation horizontal equilibrium equation so you can find out what is the s d value then after knowing the s d you know so what is the s value 
actually sway takes place what is the sway force what is the actual sway force and for the delta amount the sway force is as this then you have to find out what is the sway correction factor the sway correction factor is equal to s by s dash then after knowing the sway correction factor then you can find out what is the final moments the final moment is equal to the non sway moments plus k into the sway moments then coming to one example determine the end moments of the members of the frame ei is same for all the members draw bending moment diagram this is the frame here one lateral loading is present at the joint b 50 kilo newton and the height of the vertical member abcd is given 4 meter and the span of the horizontal member bc is given 4 meter by applying the restraint at the support c so first uh, you have to go for the non sway analysis so this is so this is the frame and here 50 kilo newton load is acting at joint b so here you have to apply the restraint at the beam level at the support c due to the restraining forces the sway of the frame is prevented so the fixed end moments in all the members are zero on the vertical member ab there is no loading and on the horizontal member bc there is no loading and on the vertical member cd there is no loading so the fixed end moments is zero in all the members due to the presence of the support at the beam level the sway is prevented so there is no end moments in any members the h a and h p that is equal to zero here you see the moment at the end of the member is also zero because there is no moment due to the external loading or there is no fixed end moment due to the sway force as the sway is prevented so finally so the moment at the end of the member is zero if the end of the member is zero so the horizontal base shear at a is also zero horizontal base shear at d is also zero so h a is equal to zero and h t is equal to zero and this is the lateral force is acting at b and this is the restraining force this is the restraining force s then by considering the horizontal equilibrium of the frame so we get s c is equal to 50 kilo newton so this is the s is equal to 50 kilo newton so here the non sway moments are zero here the non sway moments are zero as the fixed end moments due to lateral loading and due to the translation of joints are zero so here the non sway moments that is equal to zero then the next step you have to go for the sway analysis so in sway analysis so the step 1 if the structure sway by delta amount to fix arbitrary fixed end column moments m dash fap is equal to m dash fba is equal to minus 6i1 delta by l1 square and m m dash fcd is equal to m dash fdc is equal to minus 6ei2 delta by l2 square as the length of the vertical member l1 and l2 is given 4 meter so the m dash fab is equal to m dash fpa is equal to minus 6 ci delta by 4 square similarly m dash fcd is equal to m dash fdc is equal to minus 6 ci delta by 4 square so the ratio of the m dash fab by m dash fcd is equal to 1 so that is m dash fab is equal to m dash fcd so assume m dash fab is equal to m dash fcd is equal to minus 40 kilo newton meter so you can assume any value of the moment m dash fab and m dash fcd so here we are assuming m dash fab is equal to m dash fcd is equal to minus 40 kilo newton meter 
then the next step that you have to find out the relative stiffness of the member so as you know so if the end is fixed so for that end so here if the end is fixed and for that spun so the relative stiffness of the member is equal to i by l and for the intermediate spun the relative stiffness of the member is equal to i by l and here also due to the fixed end at d so for this spun the relative stiffness of the member is i by l so kb is equal to kba is equal to i by 4 kbc is equal to kcb is equal to i by 4 and kcd is equal to kdc is equal to i by 4 so this is the relative stiffness of the member then find out the relative stiffness of the joints so here at joint b there are two members meet ba and bc so the relative stiffness of the member P kb is equal to kba plus kbc Similarly, at joint C, there are two members meet, CD and CB. So, the relative stiffness of the joint C, KC is equal to KCB plus KCD. So, here you find out the relative stiffness of the joint KB, KBA plus KBC, I by 4 plus I by 4 is equal to I by 2. Similarly, KC is equal to KCB plus KCD, I by 4 plus I by 4 is equal to I by 2. Then find out the distribution factor for the member. At the support A is fixed, the distribution factor RAB is equal to 0. And due to the fixed end at D, the distribution factor RDC is equal to 0. And for the end of all other members, the distribution factor is carried out by taking the ratio of the relative stiffness of the member to the relative stiffness of the joint. So RBA, the distribution factor RBA is equal to the relative stiffness of the member BA divided by the relative stiffness of the joint that is KB, KBA by KB. So KBA you know I by 4 and KB I by 2 is equal to half. Similarly, the distribution factor for member BC, RBC is equal to KBC by KB is equal to half 1 by 2 then the distribution factor rcb is equal to kcb by kc is equal to 1 by 2 then the distribution factor rcd is equal to kcd by kc is equal to 1 by 2 then after getting the distribution factor and the and the assume fixed end moments and the fixed end moment due to the translation of joints so here this is adjunct moments minus 40 m dash fab m dash fba similarly m dash fcd and m dash fdc this is the adjunct fixed end moments and this is the distribution factor first you draw a line take for support a b c d below the support a b c d draw vertical line then first write the distribution factor that is for RAB 0 and RBA 1 by 2, RBC 1 by 2, then RCB 1 by 2, RCD 1 by 2 and RDC 0. In corresponding column, so write the distribution factor. Then write the fixed end moments. Write the fixed end moments M dash FAB in this column m dash fba in this column m dash fcd in this column and m dash fdc in this column then you have to go for the distribution of the unbalanced moments so here our joint b the unbalanced moment minus 40 and the unbalanced moment you have to balance by multiplying with the distribution factor minus 40 into half you have to balance by opposite sign so plus 20 and similarly minus 40 into half and you have to put in opposite sign plus 20. Similarly at joint C the unbalanced moment minus 40 and that moment you have to balance by multiplying with the distribution factor minus 40 into half and you have to put the value in opposite sign plus 20. And here minus 40 into 0 0 minus 40 into 0 0. Then you have to go for the carryover of the moments. So, as the end is fixed, so here the carryover takes place. So,
so half of the moment will carry over to this side and here half of the moment will carry over to this side half of the moment will carry over to this side and uh, here just due to the fixed support at d so here also half of the moment will carry over to this side so this is the carry over of the moment then again you go for the distribution or balancing the joints at joint b so the net uh, unbalanced moment is plus 10 and that moment you have to balance by multiplying with the distribution factor 10 into half that is equal to minus 5 you have to put in opposite sign similarly 10 into half and you have to put in opposite sign minus 5 similarly at joint c then unbalanced moment 10 and that moment you have to balanced by multiplying with the distribution factor 10 into half minus 5 10 into half and you have to put in opposite sign minus 5 so this is the distribution or balancing the unbalanced moment then again you go for the carry over of the moment so this moment will carry over to this side and this moment will carry over to this side this moment will carry over to this side this moment will carry over to this side half of the moment will carry over to the other end of the same members here minus 2.5 minus 2.5 minus 2.5 minus 2.5 this is the carry over moment then again you go for the distribution or balancing the moment so at joint b so the unbalanced moment minus 2.5 and this moment you have to balance by multiplying with the distribution factor so here and you have to put in opposite sign this side plus 1.2 and this side plus 1.3 because the sum should be equal to minus 2.5 here also at joint c so the uh, unbalanced moment this is minus 2.5 and this moment you have to balance by multiplying with the distribution factor minus 2.5 into half plus 1.2 and this side you take plus 1.3 because the sum should be 2.5 again you go for the carrier of the moment so this moment will carry over to this side, 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 half of the moment. Then after carry over, then you have to go for the distribution and balancing the moment. In this way, the distributing the moments and carry over is carried out till getting the distributed moments are negligible. A distributed moment 0.08 this is also 0.08 and here 0.08 and 0.08 so finally finally take sum up all the moments at a particular end of the member to get the final moment so take the sum of this moment so the this is minus 32.03 and sum of this moment minus 23.98 this is plus 23.98 then here this is plus 23.98 minus 23.98 this is minus 32.03 so this is the final moments then apply the direction of the moments in the vertical column m dash a b so here you got m dash a b this is minus 32.03 and this b at minus 23.98 similarly m dash c d minus 23.98 m dash d c minus 32.03 so just to give the direction of the moment here and write the value 32.03 23.98 32.03 and 23.98 then for this moment find out what is the horizontal base here so horizontal base here at uh, support a and support d that is h1 horizontal base here at the support a that is h1 and the horizontal base here at support d that is h2 so h1 is equal to m dash a b plus m dash b a divided by 4 so m dash a b and m dash b a put the value of m dash a b and m dash b a in this equation and find out the horizontal base here at the support a so this is equal to 14 kilo newton Similarly, find out the original base here at support D. H2 is equal to M dash CD plus M dash DC divided by 4. So, this is equal to 14 kilo newton. Then, 
then take the equilibrium equation summation of horizontal force is equal to 0. So here h1 plus h2 is equal to s dash. So h1 is equal to 14 kilo Newton and h2 is equal to 14 kilo Newton. S dash is equal to 14 plus 14, this is equal to 28 kilo Newton. So this is the S dash value. As you know, the S value that is 50 kilo Newton. So find out the sway correction factor that is equal to K is equal to S by S dash. So you know S is equal to 50 kilo Newton. S is equal to 50 kilo Newton and S dash is equal to uh, S dash is equal to 28 kilo Newton. So find out the sway correction factor K is equal to S by S dash. 50 by 28 is equal to 1.7857. Then find out the final moment. So the final moment is equal to the non-sway moment plus sway moment into the sway correction factor. But in this question, the non-sway moments are zero because there was no loading in the vertical member and the horizontal member. So the non-sway moments are zero. And here the sway moment that you can find out sway moment into the sway correction factor. So here you multiply this is the moment and this moment you have to multiply with the sway correction factor 1.7857. So finally the moment this is minus 57.20 and here minus 23.98 into the sway correction factor. This is equal to minus 42.82 kilo Newton meter and here 23.98 into the sway correction factor 1.7857 is equal to plus 42.82 kilo newton meter and here also this is 23.98 into 1.7857 this is also equal to 42.82 kilo newton meter and here minus 23.98 into 1.7857 is equal to minus 42.82 kilo newton meter and here minus 32.03 into 1.7857 is equal to minus 57.20 kilo newton meter then also you can check at joint B or C the sum of the moment is coming 0 or not. So here this is minus 42.82 this side plus 42.82 so this the sum is 0 and here also the sum is 0. So this is the final moment non sway moment plus sway moment into the sway correction factor. So the final moment is MAB is equal to minus 57.20 kN meter. MBA minus 42.82 kilo Newton meter, MBC plus 42.82 kilo Newton meter, MCB plus 42.82 kilo Newton meter, MCD minus 42.82 kilo Newton meter, MDC minus 57.20 kilo Newton meter. Then you have to apply the direction of the moment. So this is the direction of the moment. Then you can draw the bending moment diagram. So here this is anti-clockwise 57.20 outside take here 57.20 and here inside 42.82 take this side 42.82 and join these two points and here also this is 42.82 and here this is 42.82 in north side 42.82 and here outside 42.82 and this is the join these two points similarly here this side 42.82 and this side 57.20 and join these two points and uh, inner side tension take positive and outside tension take negative so this, these are the negative and these are the positive so this is the final bending moment diagram now all are clear how to solve the sway frame by moment distribution method